That's right. money well spent. Very good. Check out Wrestling Shorts with Peter DeLong on YouTube. Forget it. I don't even want to talk about myself because here come the goons. This is what everybody came to see, Scott Holiday. The goons with that Powerball that they won in that Powerball Rumble. Specifically, Miles Millennium won in the Powerball Rumble. He can make a match at any time for anything in any type of match he wants. Could He could be using it right now. Is this going to be a Powerball match? Whatever it is, it's going to be entertaining. Miles Millennium has that Powerball in hand. And even worse, Big Dust has a microphone. I don't know what you mean by even worse. It's a good thing we're going to find out what's going on. In a night full of chaos and unpredictability, you can always count on Big Dust speaking directly and letting us know exactly what's going on. And the goons enter the ring. You can see Miles Millennium coveting that Powerball, understanding the power he has within his grasp. A second. He's gonna, yeah, turn, go. it works better on. I can't believe for a second that you idiots thought Kit Rath beat me. If you think I would tap out to him, you'd have to be an absolute fuel. It's his accent. He said Stop. fool, but he's got an accent. I'll turn the microphone back off right now. They don't want that. Nobody wants that. I'll do it. No, 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 because I'm not a quitter. But you know who is a quitter? Max Zero. See, he got so scared of Miles Millennium with unlimited power. In fact, everybody in that locker room is scared of Miles Millennium with unlimited power because they know if they walk through that curtain, they're getting Smee smashed. Smee <laughs> Smee smashed? Smee smashed. Smee smashed. You know what Smee smash means? Sm because I Peter have Pan? unlimited power in my hands. Unlimited power. Unlimited power. Unlimited power. Unlimited power. Unlimited power. What's this now? Well, he's trying to tell us he has un he feels that he has unlimited power. Looks like somebody has decided to come down and cut this this goon spot short. He's going to have to learn that with unlimited power because unlimited responsibility. It's Matt Taven. Two-time Ring of Honor Tag Team Champion, one half of OGK, former IWGP Tag Champ, and the 2010 Kowalski Cup winner. Matt Taven is in high tension wrestling. He's got a microphone. You can always tell a high class promotion when they have three or more working microphones. This is the third one. Very intimidating with your Sonic the Hedgehog shirt, but hold on, oh, dude, relax. It's, it's okay. It's all right. It's a legendary I, franchise. I, I just have a problem. I'm sitting there listening to you babble on and on and on, and, and I came here today for one reason. I came here to be part of the tournament, to win the tournament, to be the television champion, and now all pandemonium is broken loose, and now I find myself not in the tournament, not with a match, have nothing to do tonight. It's Matt Taven. He's got to have something to do. You know, and clearly I didn't win Mega Millions last night because I'd be on an, on an island right now sipping a margarita. But I could win Powerball tonight. Your Powerball. Oh, I thought he was talking about the $1.2 billion. Because I a lot of space in my bag thinking that there was going to be a title to go there, but that would make a nice replacement to fly home with. 
So what do you say? Why don't you grow some cojones and put that ball on the line and see how you fare up against the man who is I and I am him and I'm Matt Taven. The trend Matt Taven fought on, throwing now, down the we challenge. Accept. Well, Good. Wait a minute. Killian McMurphy accepting on behalf of Miles Millennium. So this is going to be for the Powerball. The Powerball is on the line? No problem. Clearly, Killian McMurphy is more than confident in his teammate here in the Goons. He knows for sure that that Powerball is safe within the, the sweaty grasp of Big Dust on the outside. All right. Killian says it's happening, so it's happening. And Matt Taven has an incredible opportunity Ladies here. Ladies and gentlemen, the following contest is set for one fall. Introducing first, accompanied by the goons from Ocean City, New Jersey. He weighed in this morning, 175 pounds. He is the Ripper, Miles Millennium. His opponent, fighting out of Boston, Massachusetts. He weighed in this morning, 222 pounds. He is the trend, Matt Taven. Current Pro Wrestling Revolver Tag Team Champs with along with Mike Bennett. And did you know he was a former Ring of Honor champ? You know who he beat for that title? Who did he beat for that title? Jay Lethal, a man who is uh, on TV right now at the top of his game, and it has been for quite some time. Matt Taven comes with many accolades. This would just be another to fill his already overstuffed trophy case with. Think about the unlimited power that comes with that power ball. Miles Millennium has got it all on the line. Matt Taven, nothing to lose, everything to gain. No problem. Miles Millennium has been in the ring with high-profile names before, and he has the goons in his corner. I'm sure the confidence in uh, that that is felt by Killian McMurphy is the same confidence that's felt by Miles Millennium. He's barely been in the ring now. It's all mind games, my friend. He's trying to get into the psyche of Matt Taven. I don't know if it's working. Matt Taven continues to push, and once again, Miles. Asking the ref to back him up. Well, that didn't work. First strike goes to Millennium. Second goes to goes to the trend. And here we go. Do you really want to get into a chop off with Matt Taven? Well, that's just unsanitary. Oh, just each one of those turns Millennium inside out. Referee needs to get in there. That Taven just firing away. Reversal by Millennium. Another reversal by Taven. Oh, oh. Beautiful vertical suplex into the cover, shoulders down. Able to kick out easily. I thought that was pretty easy for uh, Miles Millennium without a problem. It's early out of the match. It was only a, a nasty brain buster, that's all. Trying to sit up. This millennium, Taven not allowing it to happen. But the goons again getting involved. Oh, drop to a hold. That Taven off the ropes, drops the elbow across the back. Millennium, no matter how much punishment he's taking, he always has the, uh, he's, he hears the encouraging words of the goons who right now surround the ring. Matt and Taven. He'll, he'll need all of it that he can get. Let him going under, off the rope, slides under, goes Taven, drop kick right on the jaw. Finds the mark, hits the bullseye. The Millennium goes down hard. Millennium just can't get into this. He's got nothing but support at ringside from the goons. Oh! Grabs hold of that rope. The ropes have been the best friend for Millennium this whole time, but now going to the eyes. And now Millennium firing away. He created his own opening. Miles Millennium taking advantage. Taven now finally down. Words of encouragement finally 
hyping Millennium up enough to get that, uh, that, oh, hold on a second. Right overhead suplex. Very nicely done, and now the confident cover. Only good for one, but does send a message to Matt Taven. That's right, not looking for the three count on that one. Just like you said, sending a message, showing how confident he is. Oh, oh, oh wait a minute. Oh, kick to the back of the head. Taven now. Oh! Drops him. Pulls him away from the ropes. Only good for two. And Millennium is barely there. You can see his eyes are kind of rolling around in his skull right there. Really needs to be able to shake those cobwebs. And this match, of course, sponsored by Rob Rocky's podcast, Anything But Wrestling Podcast. Oh! Wrestlers come on to talk about anything except for wrestling. You can check that out on the High Tension Wrestling Network. There's Taven. He's got it locked in, but Big Dust with the distraction. The shooter up now. Distracting a bit and calling the attention of Matt Taven. Oh! Setting up a perfect opportunity. Miles Millennium knowing exactly what to do in that moment. Sending that boot right squarely to the jaw of Matt Taven. And now Millennium's got hold of the referee as the goods descend on Matt Taven. Well, Millennium has been taking a lot of punishment. He might be having a problem right now. Wants to make sure the ref is able to check him out to see and make sure that he's able to continue on to this match. Looks like he is. Thank God. Wouldn't want this match to be to be stopped early because of a, a, an injury. Well, someone's got to check on Matt Taven after the beat is the goons just put down on He's him. He's fine. He's a professional. He's been in this sort of position before. Slides in. Let him immediately descend, stomping away. Not letting Taven take a breath. Miles Millennium knowing what's at stake and pouncing early and often. Now Got turning him. Taven around into that nasty neck breaker. Got them all stacked up. Taven escapes. Not enough. And now McMurphy on the outside holding on to that power ball. Holding it up like Paul, Paul Bearer holds up the urn for the Undertaker. Giving Millennium the power that he needs to come out of this victorious. Now, well, they got that choke in deep. Pushes Taven all the way out of the rings, tied up in the ropes, tongue upside down. Barely able to hold on. You can see that the punishment is finally starting to get to Matt Taven. Miles Millennium is just, is just manhandling Taven right now. Well, I have to give the assist to the goons, but at the moment, Millennium in control. Just look at the disrespect oh. as Matt Taven starts firing back. Hooks the arm. Beautiful maneuver by Millennium. Very, very nice. Goes for the cover now, hooks that leg. Taven able to power out. And just let it be known that Miles Millennium right now is in control over a international former and current champion. Millennium proving that he is worthy of that Powerball. Now just trying to wear down Taven, keep him grounded. Taven's got to fight out of this. The crowd willing Taven to his feet. Up to a face. Oh, jawbreaker. Relinquishes the hold. Taven now has an opportunity. Slow to get to his feet, though. Realizes his, uh, his oh, wait a minute. Goes low. Oh, great fake out into that low DDT, into the cover. Repositions himself mid maneuver in order to uh, more benefit his position. Great awareness by Miles Millennium in this matchup. Now that he has the advantage, he's holding onto it with an iron grip, not allowing Matt Taven to get any offense in. That's right, expertly executing all of his maneuvers. Now Miles Millennium putting some distance in between him and his opponent. Here comes Taven, misses with a cross body. Rushes in, catches the elbow of Taven. Oh, Millennium shot to the jaw as well. Successfully powering off him. Oh, here he comes. Goes low. Oh! Taven drops him with the DDT. Taven has an opportunity, but the damage has been done. Having trouble just, uh, just, just 
getting his whereabouts with, uh, with back to him. David struggling to his feet. Millennium waking up now. And Taven fighting back to his feet, trying to make the best of the situation. Ducks that clothesline. Down in the waist slot, standing switch. And again, once more. Into the ropes, holds on. Taven coming in, oh, big clothesline and a back elbow. Oh. Step up in Sakuri. Ducks the line. Oh! Beautiful swinging neck breaker. Taven just turning it right around, slapping himself in the face, getting the adrenaline pumping through those veins. Taven looking to end this. He's gonna win the Powerball. Millennium can feel the power slipping through his fingers. Once again, fighting out of that. So oh. that flip rolls through. Oh, he nearly <laughs> took his head off. Cover. Oh. How did Millennium kick out of that? So incredibly close. It doesn't get much closer than that, folks. We almost had a new Powerball holder here. The landscape of high tension network, high tension wrestling almost changed in just a brief moment. Big dust getting in Matt Taven's face. I would not recommend that. Millennium struggling to his feet. Matt Taven awaiting the arrival. Misses with that big spinning heel kick. Oh! All the way around with some slice bread. Hooks the leg. No! Oh. Taven stays in it. Holding on tightly to that power ball is Miles Millennium. The rest of the goons firmly in, in his corner. Now the straps are coming down. Things are getting serious, folks. Trying to get him hooked with that ripcord. Blocked by Taven. No! Taven plants him. Taven plants him. Into the cover. Oh, oh Big Dust grabbed the referee. That was going to be all. I didn't see it. What happened? Notice that the referee's out of the ring. I was wondering why. And those are brass knuckles. A.K. Willis now in the ring with the brass knuckles. David ducks it. Oh, what a spinning heel kick. Turns the, the arsenal inside out. Oh, no. The power ball to the back of the head. The shooter out. Referee didn't see it. Not this way. Damn it. Millennium. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner of this bout, the Ripper, Miles Millennium. It's a miracle on Pear Street. Millennium somehow find a, found a way to come out on top over an international superstar and is still the holder of the high tension wrestling Powerball. What an incredible feel good story. You have a very interesting definition of miracle. I would say that it took the effort of four men to put Matt David down tonight. It miraculously took the effort of four men. Regardless, that Powerball still within the grasp of the goons. Give him a moment to, to, to celebrate, ref. The goons continue to be an unstoppable force here in high tension wrestling. Matt Taven, what an incredible talent coming here to High Tension Wrestling, giving it his all, but it was no use. Miles Millennium digging deep and finding a way to come out victorious. The power still within the grasp of the goons. We can't 